Hey guys, I'm going to try to do my best to explain how to read one of these Geiger counters. They're very common. They're being sold all over eBay. It's it's an old school from the 1950s to early, like 1962, roughly area. These things were produced a lot in the United States. Um, apparently, they're a decent little meter. Um, this first picture you see, the top rightish area, that's the Geiger counter itself. And you'll see that little wire coming off of it that goes to that little silver tube thing. That's the Geiger tube, or the sniffer if you will um, that would you be ha holding in your hand sniffing things it actually unscrews like half a turn and then it opens it up so that it can sniff and then you close it when you're done there's a calibration sticker on the side of the Geiger counter itself on the left side on this particular model I think um, you would turn it on set it to the 10x scale open the little sniffer thing after 30 seconds because I guess it has to initialize or something or just kinda equalize or do something then you open the thing up after 30 seconds set it next to the little uh, sticker thing on the side that's a little you know fake radiation thing that you can calibrate it with and then uh, you're gonna want it according to the manual manual it should be around um, 1.5 to 2.5 roughly and it may fluctuate a little bit on the 10x scale 10 time scale and it should hover around basically 0 0.2 I said 1.5 to 2.5 but that's because I'm talking about the 10x scale so if you look at this next picture it's a very close up zoomed in one of this uh, Geiger counter that I have it's the CDV 700 model 6B that was one of the latest ones that they did at the time it's supposedly a pretty decent one um, but if, if you look at the gauge at the top it says MR per hour and then under that it says C slash M or counts per minute now remember generally speaking around 100 or 125 counts per minute is cause to be concerned you know as far as the you know governments of the world telling their people we don't want to see those kind of numbers and you'll look in these maps radiation network dot com or whatever it is and you'll see some at 28 30 40 50 whatever and that's fine I think once it gets to around 100 125 that then it becomes like a little bit of a concern still not like real deadly but if it, animals and cattle whatever crops it was getting exposed to you may probably not want to eat it but uh it's still not that bad basically so if you see this gauge you'll see it starts off at zero then it goes to 0 0.1 0 0.2 0 0.3 etc that basically assumes you're on the 1x scale so when you turn this thing on and as you see in this picture it's set to off right now the next one over is a hundred times the one after that's ten times and the last one is one times so if this is on um, one times and this thing moves up to where you see that hundred mark which is the counts per minute that's why that that's where those bottom numbers are 100 200 300 that's the counts per minute so let's just say basically at the 100 mark of counts per minute on the one time scale one x scale you'll see 0 0.1 and then halfway to 0 0.2 is where that hundred is so that's actually 0 0.15 technically speaking on the one x scale that's the level where you, you know it's not like real bad but it's still like okay I, I think I need to be concerned a little bit is it gonna get worse than this and for how long that kinda of thing um, so if you to calibrate this thing it says to set it to the 10 X or X 10 scale 10 times scale like I said you want it between 1.5 and 2.5 and it tells you there's a little adjustment screw on the side of it um, you know you can adjust it to make sure it's calibrated right with that little calibration sticker thing with you sniffing on that thing so um, what I understand is because it's one times, ten times, one hundred times. For example, this one hundred mark on the counts per minute is technically, looking at this picture, zero point one five, which is halfway between the zero point one and the zero point two mark. It's the halfway point. So that's what I'm talking about. But to make this easy, let's go down a little bit and go to the zero point one because it's right on the money. So as you can see the hundred counts per minute it's not there it's it's way below that it's probably like fifty counts per minute so you you know this is like safe so but just for the purpose of me trying to explain how this thing works at least to the best of my knowledge we're gonna just focus on zero point one if this gauge needle was to move to zero point one I'm guessing here looking at this it would be roughly fifty counts per minute that's still somewhat safe you can look on the maps all over the United States the little radiation network thing and you'll see stuff 20 30 40 50 you know it's not it's not a problem so 1x scale this is 0 0.1 if you set this to the 10x scale this 0 0.1 technically 
becomes 1.0. Of course, it's not going to change because this isn't a digital readout. So you have to understand in your head, oh, I have it set to 10 times. Therefore, when I see this 0 0.1, this needle, if this needle were to move to 0 0.1 on the 10 times scale, that would be alarming probably because, like I said, this, the counts per minute at this level would be 50. But if we did 10 times that, that would be 500 counts per minute. That would be definitely some cause for alarm. So if you are using this Geiger counter and you have it set to the 10x scale, or 10 times scale, and this damn needle is going over to the 0 0.1 mark, that is like saying it's 1.0. Not good. That's definitely something you do not want to be around. So if you were to set it to the 100 times scale and it was on that 0 0.1, and that damn needle went to the 0 0.1 on the 100 times scale setting, that would be big time trouble. You know, I, I can't g guess and say how fast you would die or what, whatever, but that would be like devastating. So, what I would say is you probably would be safe setting this thing to the 1 time scale and understanding that from 0 all the way over to 0 0.5 on the one time scale you'll notice below that the CM or counts per minute 100 200 300 so if this thing was pegged out or near let's say let's say it was 0 0.4 and a half right halfway between 0 0.4 and 0 0.5 from the looks of this that would be around 275 or so uh 275% or 275 counts per minute that would not be good either cuz remember 100 counts per minute is already like you know, governments will be concerned at that point. Red alert kind of thing. Not deadly, but still. So this would be three times that amount if it was roughly, you know, four and a half, almost. Well, 0 0.5 is actually three times that amount. But anyway, I'm just trying to make this simple. So you could leave it on the 1x scale. If you see this thing creeping up to 0 0.2, 0 0.2 on the 1x scale would tell me that that's approximately 150 counts per minute or actually it looks like about 125 counts per minute that's probably the level where you need to start being a little bit concerned I can't tell you whether you should be taking those iodide uh, potassium iodide pills you know nuke pills whatever they call them I, I don't know and I've been trying and trying and trying to find out when you should take those and I just can't seem to get the answer everyone keeps saying well your public announcement public alert city council whatever mayor uh, would would tell you that the health the local health organization would tell you, and I really can't find a, a an answer uh, to that question. So I really can't tell you when I even would do it. But I would personally say if this thing was like 200, and I knew it was out, I, like I went outside. Oh crap, it's 200. Um, but then I went back inside my house, and it was like nothing, zero. Well, I probably wouldn't take a pill unless I have to go outside. I would try to stay inside long as I can. You know, and again, if you walked outside for just a few minutes and did, took a reading, basically, oh my God, it's 200 counts per minute on the 1x scale, which is basically 0 0.3 or so on on the top part of that that uh, gauge. Um, you're not, I mean, you're not gonna be in trouble. You could walk back inside. It's not, you're not gonna have to like go take a shower. Oh my God, you know, I've got radiation. Uh, although you you probably could take a, a shower, wouldn't hurt, that's for sure. Um, but again, that's not enough to to cause a problem that quick being out there for two minutes. But it would at least let you know, go back in the house, close up my windows, whatever I need to do, make sure it's not in the house. If you start getting those kind of readings in your house, and it's at 200 in your own house, um, man, I'm going to say I probably, personally, this is me personally, I would probably take one of those nuke pills. They're good for 24 hours before you have to take another one. And from what I read, you should not take these things for more than around 25 or 30 days in a row. You definitely don't want to do that. Um, and I don't know the actual number. It's something that I read. If that's true, fine. But, you know, how long would it take you to get out of your state if you needed to, to a safer place? It's not going to take you 30 days. You know, on my, you know, with killer crazy traffic, it might take you several days. But again, if everybody's leaving, you know, I mean, it'd be absolute chaos on the interstate system. You're better off almost staying in your house and trying to close up the windows with tape and stuff. I mean, and, and just keeping your air conditioner turned off completely and just dealing with the heat or whatever. I mean, I don't know. I'm getting off a little bit of the topic of, of this kind of thing. I just wanted to share with you how this gauge is supposed to read. And I'm pretty sure that's what is meant by this. 0 0.1 on this gauge is on the one time scale. That's accurate. 
on the 10 times scale, the 0 0.1 actually becomes 1.0. On the 100 times scale, that would become, you know, well, 0 0.1 times 100, I guess that would be 10. So if it was on that, you'd be, I mean, you'd be dead. You'd be in big trouble because I think from what they say, 5 milliram or whatever they call that, MR, 5.0 is enough that more than 50% of the people, if exposed to it for, I forget what period of time, not even that long, half of the people would die, according to, you know, public information on, on this kind of thing. Um, so on the 100 times scale, your meter, you know, it, in other words, forget the 100 times scale. You're not going to use it. You're not going to use the 100 times scale. The 10 times scale and the 1 times scale, yes, you will. And again, I'd probably leave it on the 1 times scale because that's going to be exactly what the gauge is set to by default 0 0.1 on the 1x scale is what it is so you, there's no confusion you may put on 10 times scale and be like wait a minute is this still 0 0.1 what am I looking at here and it's a little confusing you have to know in your head when it's at 0 0.1 that actually means 1.0 so that means the needle's going to be way down it's, it's not going to be good set it to 1x if you have this type of meter and this particular meter is good up to 300 counts per minute or 0 0.5 MR which would be not something you know you'd really want to be around too long but at the same time if you look at some of these charts and I've got it on my site realistnews.net uh, I have a chart up there you'll see you know s some interesting information about what is dangerous and people who are exposed to 1.0 MR per hour thing whatever for whatever period of time um, how to you know whatever percentage rate of, of living and just having slight you know side effects maybe they were sick for a little while and that kind of thing um, anyways, that's about it. I just wanted to share that with you guys, and I hope that answers some uh, questions.